police officer on every corner, we still would not have prevented some of these crimes. Violent crime in Providence ticked down slightly in September after jumping the previous month. In August, three homicides were reported in a single week. Good evening. It's good to have you with us tonight. I'm Patrice Wood. I'm Gene Valicenti. NBC 10 I team reporter Tamara Sikarsik went digging through the data. Do you feel like Providence is safe? No. Yeah, I feel like it's relatively safe. I don't think it's safe overall. There's a lot of, you know, fights, stab, stabbing, you know, drug dealing down here. On the heels of five homicides in just under five weeks, the NBC 10 I team took a closer look at crime in Providence. <laughs> Data shows overall crime increased 11 percent in August compared to the month before. Providence police investigated 42 aggravated assaults, 156 simple assaults, and seven incidents of shots fired or shootings. I brought those numbers to Providence Mayor Brett Smiley. 198 assaults in August. That sounds high. Uh, it sounds high. There's a story behind each and every one of those. We know that these are, by and large, isolated incidents or incidents between uh, parties known to one another. While that may be true, we found several of the assaults happened in public places. On August 19th, one man was reportedly stabbed just after 6 p.m. on Hartford Avenue following a fight. Two hours earlier, another man told police he was stabbed on the steps of a local church. These assaults are mostly targeted, but a lot of them do happen in public places. Does that create a public safety concern? Definitely. I mean, again, I'll go back to the fact that we concentrate on people, places, and things. Uh, and unfortunately, we get the data sometimes that we have certain spots in the city, certain places in the city that we need to concentrate on. Providence Police Chief Oscar Perez tells me that includes Kennedy Plaza, where police have up patrols to curb crime. That recently led to the arrest of 20 drug dealers following a months-long investigation. Fortunately, we, we suffer from uh, violent crime. It's nationwide. Perez says while August numbers weren't ideal, crime is trending down year over year, a pattern that remains steady over the past five years. When we look at violent crime, year to day is down 16%. Uh, violent crime with a firearm was used is also down 15%. The homicide rate is down 27 percent and sex offenses are down 19 percent. Police have also seized 245 guns so far this year. Every single gun that we seize saved a life. Every search warrant that the detectives and narcotics do, you never know what kind of lives we save because we seize guns, put criminals in jail. Are you satisfied with the current rate of violent crime in Providence? I think it's a success. When we look at all the years past, uh, and the fact that it's still trending down, it's, it, it, it's, it's good. But for some people who live and work in the city, the downward trend isn't enough to draw them downtown. I don't come down here at night, so I used to, but times have changed now. Yeah, I hate coming down through here, but I got to get to work. Has your administration done enough to show that violence won't be tolerated? We're certainly uh, zealous about our enforcement and apprehensions. Uh, what happens after that is generally in the hands of the judiciary. Providence police do post all of their crime data online for the public to see, and we've posted a link to that on our website, turn to 10.com. In Providence for the NBC Tonight team, I'm Tamara Sikarsik.